Cameron uh, for Twinktown, back again for another video. Uh, we're here at Zeus, as you can see in one of the demo rooms. Uh, you're looking at one of the Z77 Intel uh, base motherboards that's just been released. Um, what One of the features of this board is Fan Expert 2. It's an upgrade of the previous um, Fan Expert uh, versions that we've seen in the past. So what we can do uh, here is you can see the UI. This is part of it's part of um, AI Suite. Um, now, what is new in this software is it has a fan auto tuning feature. So, what that does, oh, let me start it. Um, you can see all of the fans inside the system. And this is all of the fans that are connected to a three-pin fan header on the motherboard have instantly gone to 100%. So, what it's doing is it's measuring um, the the grades, I guess you could say, from 100% down to 0%. It's measuring the RPM of each fan, the maximum down to the lowest. Um, so you can see it's slowing down now. You can see the progress here. It takes, depending on how many fans and the type of fans you have in your system, it takes between two and five minutes. Um, so you can see here, this one's almost dropped down. This has dropped down. It's just checking all of the RPMs. We'll let it go. It doesn't take too long. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we just cut a little bit there. It ended up taking around roughly five minutes to finish. So what's happened now, it's, you can see it's 100% complete. Um, the software has finished running the test. It's reported the, the maximum down to the lowest RPMs, and it's compiled that information into Fan Expert 2, so we can get very detailed information on the fans and what they can do. And also tweak the fan settings to how we uh, how you want them to perform. So we just go next. Okay, so here um, what we can do is we can adjust the um, the names of the fans. So at the moment it's just very basic, chassis fan 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that's not very detailed, you might not, that might not mean much to you. So for example, chassis fan 1, um, what we can do is you push the search button here uh, and then you push start. What this is going to do is it's going to actually a better example is chassis fan 2. So we don't know which fan that is at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll go search and then click start. And then what that's done is set the RPM to 100%. So we can quickly identify which fan that is. So of course we can see that one's here. Uh, and as soon as we click stop, okay, the LED is turned off and then the fan stops. So what we can do here is if we wanted to, we can set the fan position to front fan, back fan, side fan, top fan, bottom fan. Uh, so that is the side fan. It would sit in the case here. So we just select the uh, side fan. And you can do that for the other fans you can see here as well. So we just go OK. Uh, now you've got three different profiles. You've got silent. Of course, that's going to be really quiet. It's going to run the fans very quiet. If not, they might, might turn them off if it's not required, if the temperature within the case is under control, they may be, may be turned off. Standard, and then turbo, which is it's going to run them, uh, not at 100%, but it's going to run them quite fast. You can see I've pushed turbo, and the fans have, not quite 100%, but they've gone up higher. Uh, so if you're going to start a game or something, you might want to do select turbo. Uh, if your system's overclocked, you might want to run turbo all the time. If you prefer uh, kind of more baseline, uh, level of cooling performance, you'd select standard if you want to watch a movie or something, maybe you select uh, silent. Uh, and of course there's a full speed option here as well. So I'll push that and everything, all of the fans have gone to 100%. Um, and you can see this information here is reflected uh, with the sensor uh, here, the detail here. So if we go down to silent, uh, yeah, you can see here this uh, information has adjusted here and they're actually all have turned off because it's detected it doesn't need, they don't need to be running. Now what we can do here is we can go, this is the smart mode, so we can adjust the uh, performance of the fan to however, however we like. Um, so based on the temperature, it's going to show uh, it will be the performance, the percentage RPM of the fan. You can adjust here based on the temperature.
for each of the each of the different fans you can adjust here. Um, now it's also got a RPM fix mode as well. So if we go to chassis fan two, this is the side panel. Uh, what we can do here is we can uh, adjust the RPM of the fan, and that will do it in fifty. Um, RPM increments as you can see here and it's happening on the fly as I go down um, now apparently as this has told us this is the first the first software the first fan control software that can control the fan speed by RPM and you, of course again you can do that for all of the different fans now if we go over here uh, no I went to the wrong area Um, if we go over here, this is going to give us detailed information on each of the fans. So this is kind of like the fan profile. It tells us, um, based on the calibration test we did before, it shows us for this particular fan here, uh, the maximum speed and the minimum speed. And fan will run when fan power is higher than 472 RPM, 39%. Controllable range, you can see here. So this is very, gives us a very detailed uh, look at the fan and what they can do, and it also gives a lot of, lot of control. So this is uh, Ben Cameron for Tweaktown looking at Fan Expert 2 by Azuz.